Ayusin natin ang gobyerno. Ayusin natin ang buhay mo. Sisuguraduhin ko sa inyo na ang bawat Pilipino panalo sa laban ni Manny Pacquiao. Tapat sa bayan, tapat sa iyo. Sabay-sabay po nating tuparin ang ating mga pangarap para maging kulay rosas ang ating bukas. Sa bagikot ng panahon, hindi tayo titigil kailanman. Sama-sama tayo para umangat ang bayan. Bongbong Marcos po ito. Bangon bayan muli. Hi guys! We are at the last stretch before the actual election day. So I am here today to conduct a mini survey with some of my classmates on who's your president and why. But before that, let's take a look at some of the poll surveys done recently by some survey agencies. As we can see, Bongbong Marcos or BBM, the son of former dictator Ferdinand Marcos, leads the race consistently in different surveys from the recent months. On the other hand, VP Danny Robredo, who leads the campaign against BBM, sits on second place. So in less than a week from now, Filipino voters are set to choose President Duterte's successor. Some observers and analysts are calling it one of the most important election in our Philippine history. Disclaimer. The views and opinions in this video are personal takes of the students. This survey is a social experiment only to show the level of awareness and feelings of some students regarding this matter. The question that we are going to ask is, who's your president and why? Let's go! My aspiring president that I am supporting this coming May 9, 2022 is BBM, or known as Bongbong Bong Marcos. He inspired me by his kindness and helping those in need by sending food. I support him because of many things he did. Even if he is not running as a president, I love what he do very much. He doesn't give up on anything. As a father and as a candidate. I will vote for VP Lenny Robredo because she is the most qualified and capable to become the next president of the Philippines. As vice president of the Philippines, with limited support and budget, she was able to establish the Angat Buhay program. She immediately responded to COVID-19 through Bayanian e-consulta, swab cab, Vaccine Express, and etc. VP Lenny has always been present in every disaster that fell on the country, especially when it comes to typhoons. Lastly, I see in her the loyalty, concern, and sincerity of service to her country. I support Lenny Robredo because my mother will vote for her in the election in May 9, 2022. And why I am supporting her because my family on my mother's side is voting for Lenny Robredo. My aspiring president is Bongbong Marcos because Bongbong Marcos will help the homeless people. The aspiring president I have chosen for this year's election is Lenny Robredo. I have chosen her simply for the reason that she is capable of doing everything herself and not and on her own free will. She is also able to become the vice president even as a female. For me, I'm voting her because she has experience in handling our nation's affairs and because there are many helpful things she did while competing, like helping those in need of help even if it is early in the morning, giving free rides to the people, providing a place with free Wi-Fi and a tutor for students, and providing PPE sets for doctors and nurses, and many more. Above all that, she is a very respectful person, and even when she was not the vice president of our nation, she still helped people with no place to go, together with the Sumino farmers. In my opinion, I chose her simply because everything that she has done for us is very helpful. And because I really admire and appreciate her kindness and generosity towards our nation. 
I am not forcing anyone to vote for her simply because of my reason. It is perfectly fine if you do not vote for her and vote for another candidate going for the title president. The presidential candidate that I have chosen to support is Ferdinand Bongbong Marcos. I've always believed that he is someone capable of showing other people what he's made of despite the odds. The main reason on why I support Marcos in this upcoming election is because that I like his plans for the development of our country. I believe that if he wins as the president, our country will be a better place. I also believe that if he wins, our country will be a famous tourist spot because of how he will make our country beautiful. I also support him because of how intelligent he is. From what I saw in the recent interviews he was in, I listened very carefully to every word of his answers and explanations to the questions, and all of them had a proper explanation and reason. I also support him because of how he helps our fellow Filipinos in times of disasters, such as typhoons and more. He is always preferred to give relief goods to the affected residents. And that for me and my family is the reason why we support him. As much as possible, let's try to respect each other's opinion and choice of candidate. Because at the end of the day, whoever wins this election will decide the future of our children and our country. So be wise in choosing the next president of the Philippines. And don't forget to vote on May 9, 2020. And that concludes our mini survey. Thank you for watching and God bless the Filipino people. Bye!